What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Grip and Rip and Fishing on the GNRF YouTube channel. We are down here at Car, 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 I think the locals call it Car Lake, um, K-E-R-R -R Lake, if you guys want to look it up. It is supposed to be awesome. They call it Bugs Island on the Virginia side, but we're in the North Carolina side and uh, the fishing here is supposed to be incredible. Apparently they hold multiple MLF tournaments here every year and people catch some absolute monsters. I'm excited to get out there and we're going to try to get on some fish for you guys today. is about sheets because we have Wawa in the Northeast and Wawa, <laughs> Wawa is the place to go. All you people from down south talking about sheets, I don't know. Drop a comment down below if you uh, have ever had Wawa and sheets and uh, one is better than the other. Okay, okay, I see what it's all about. This is like a mixture between a Royal Farms and a Wawa. We have both of those back up north. Not bad, not bad guys. <laughs> Got this nice big cove behind us. Dad, what's the plan? Trench hog. He's got a a green pumpkin purple trench hog from Guggen Baits. He's gonna catch a hog. He's gonna catch a hog. That's what he caught them all on yesterday. I caught one on it yesterday. We had one other guy out here that caught 15 fish on the trench hog. So uh, it's obviously working down in these parts, and we're gonna give it a shot today. I'm gonna start off the day with a Z-Man chatterbait. I'm back here giving, I'm, I'm giving, I'm giving Dad a hard time for moving everything around the boat. I'm gonna start the day off with a Z-Man chatterbait, and I've got this crawl trailer that Ted from Off the Hook Outdoors gave me, and uh, he made them especially for me. Let me pick the colors and everything. I want to give a huge shout out to him. If you guys haven't gone and checked out his channel, make sure you do so. Look at that. <laughs> uh, Dad's been working out a little bit, doesn't know his own strength, and um, just cast it about 20 yards into the woods. <laughs> I'm going to have to jump out in the shore and go to the trench hole. People out here partying. Shoo, got too close. Alright, just a fair warning, I'm not doing this all day. Let's figure it out. If I get bit by a snake, it's on you. Oh, Dad, it's always an adventure. Ready? That was great. We're gonna set sail again. Perfect. At least we learned how to do that today, all really quick. I think so. Oh, I lost it. Did you see it? Yep. All right. There we go. There's fish. There are fish here. Lost it right at the boat. My hand slipped off my uh, reel handle when I set the hook, and I didn't get a good hook set. Little teeny bass. All right, so we've caught fish. <laughs> All right, you got pliers on you, daddies? Uh, well, maybe I can get it out. These small fish tend to be the ones that hook you. Thank you. Smallest fish of the day. Only fish of the day so far, but yeah. 
Called it on the MEPS number four inline spinner. Send a picture out to the boys because that's the first fish, first action we've had. I just had two bites in about, what, one minute, Dad? Just the second cast out there, we caught a fish. So they're they're over here. Oh, Dad might have just had one too, right off that tree. And uh, I think we're gonna wake, make our way around these two coves and then that rock wall. And uh, hopefully the bite turns on, but let's get this one back in the water. We're gonna try to fish off this point, this rock point, and under this bridge along these pilings and see if the concrete's holding any heat, keeping the fish here, because water temperature's not nearly as warm as it was just an hour away at Falls Lake. So we're gonna see if maybe these fish are hugged right up against the rocks. All right, I think we got ourselves a keeper, guys. Finally. Oh, it was not hooked well, and now I'm hooked. Ooh, come on. All right, can you get that hook out of me? Shoo! All right, we're good. There we go, a fish, and it's a keeper too. <laughs> All right, let me get this in the live well. So, uh, hey, it was right off the main lake on a point, and there's rocks, see? Right here off these rocks on a main lake point, so maybe we need to find these and, and target them, okay? What do you think? Fish is all beat up. It's probably uh, making a bed right now. All right, let's get back out here. I want to cast back over there a few more times with that inline spinner. You've got something with a blade on it, right, Dad? Yeah. Okay. That's two for the MEPS number four inline spinner, guys. Nobody's catching fish, so I'm thinking we might be onto something. I told my buddy, come over, find some rocks, and uh, throw an inline spinner. You know, I'm gonna keep trying to throw this because it's the only thing we've had luck on all day. We've thrown all sorts of stuff today and uh, haven't been able to get on any fish. But I've been having bait fish follow this inline spinner back up. And it, I think it's working to my advantage because if these bait fish are following it, they're creating a small school. And then this spinner is bright and shiny. It's standing out and the bass are attacking this one. So um, we're gonna keep going with that and uh, see if in the last two hours we can finish a bag. I would love to hit a 10 pound bag here this week. Because I'll be hung up in a minute with that. So and then fill a lemon. 
the day over? It's 12.47, we've got two hours left. Yeah, it still won't tie on an inline spinner. I'm looking for one. boats died so we're actually towing them back in we're done for the day I've got two keepers and I had to throw one back but uh, you know this is all about teamwork out here and uh, we're all part of the same club we went out we got him out of the water and we're uh, taking him back in and we're all gonna probably head home tonight it's supposed to be a storm tomorrow and uh, unfortunately I don't think we're gonna be able to fish so we either stay in the hotel get some dinner and then leave early in the morning or we head out tonight and get home to the wives and surprise them a day early. So we'll figure out what we're doing. Can always know